One of the hardest things in this life and in this walk with Christ is continuing to work and be consistent when you work, even though you've been working for so long. Enduring through the trials and tribulations, enduring through the work and enduring even though you are tired of doing the same things over and over and over. And it's one thing that you actually have to conquer that we all must do in this walk with Christ in order to reach our breakthrough. And so we need to figure out how we can endure through the trials and tribulations. We need to know exactly what we need to do in order to continue to keep going, even when it does get hard. And so that's why in this video, I'll be talking about the five ways that you can continue to endure through the trials and tribulations, through you know the work and whatever you're going through in your life so that you can reach God's breakthrough. And we know we have to go through this because we see it all the time in the word, we, you know, stories like Joseph, David, or Job. Job is one of the most famous ones and the main one that we should be you know taking a look at to see how we should endure because job endured through the most he went through the most trials and tribulations he done got take he got taken everything away from him which is one of the hardest parts but as he continued to you know endure through everything that he went through he got blessed seven times fold than what he already had before and so and so we shouldn't get discouraged when we're going through so much trials and tribulations instead we should actually be joyful that we're going through a lot of tri trials and tribulations because the word even says consider consider it pure joy when you go through trials and tribulations knowing that's an opportunity to grow to grow in perseverance to go in strength and so anytime you are going through a whole bunch, when you're going through a whole bunch of trials and tribulations, consider it pure joy, because at the end of it, not only will you be mature, but God will bless you seven times fold than what you already had before. And so with that being said, the first way to make sure that you're enduring through any trial and tribulation that God gives you is focusing on God and focusing on the end result. You see, of course, when someone starts a business, if they are just focusing on getting rich quick, it actually says this in the word in Proverbs that if you focus on get rich quick, then you'll never be successful. It says wealth from get rich quick schemes quickly disappear, but wealth from hard work grows over time. And so if you see someone get rich quick, that may discourage you because you're working so hard, but it shouldn't discourage you because you know in the long run, you will have a more successful future because you're working hard. And the word tells us that don't grow weary of doing good because in due season, you will reap a harvest. And so that's why it's important that you you know, focus on the end and not focus on the present time being because everyone, you know, if you just focus on the time being, you're going to give up quick. You're going to see things on social media. You're going to uh, hear the people, the haters around you telling you like, oh, you're not going to make it and things like that. But if you were to focus on the end result, have a vision that you're working towards, then you're never going to give up. You're going to continue to work on that and have faith in it because you know that it's going to come to pass. And that actually brings me to step number two, which is having faith in whatever you're pursuing, having faith in God. Because if you lose faith, then you're gonna lose your works because work, faith without works is dead and vice versa, works without faith is dead. Because you're not gonna work if you don't have faith. Because essentially faith is actually motivation because if you have faith in something, then you will feel like doing it more. If you have faith in you know, pursuing a dream that you have or you know, a basketball, say it's a basketball career for example, or a business, if you have faith that you're going to be successful in it, then you're going to work as hard as possible to get there. But as soon as you start doubting, as soon as you don't see the, the business flourishing, as soon as you don't see, you know, uh, results in basketball, then guess what? You're going to give up. And so that's why it's important that you do things to keep faith. And one thing that will help you actually build faith is seeing small results. And so that's why people tell you to, you know, set goals because goals uh, small goals that are easy to accomplish can help build your faith and continue to help you endure through the trials and tribulations because you see progress. You see things getting done. You see you, your step, yourself getting closer to the goal. And what usually causes people to give up on their dreams is they're not seeing progress. They're standing still they're stagnant in whatever they're doing and so that's why they start losing faith and that's why they're not able to endure so you need to build your faith set small goals do whatever you have to do to continue to keep your faith strong because that's what Job did he cried out to God when he's in trouble he was keeping his faith strong and God he was praising God even in the midst of his trials and tribulations and then that's what got him through his faith in God. And so make sure that your faith in God stays strong even through the trials and tribulations because that's what's gonna get you through it. And number three, the third way to continue to endure is praying. You need to pray when you are tired, when you need to ask God for strength because get what praying does, it, it, it humbles you. It puts you in a state of humility instead of pridefulness, thinking that you can do it on your own. 
uh, we see prayers and psalms all the time of people crying out to God, even people crying to ask for a new heart. And so we need to have that same mindset when it comes to this walk with Christ. Our prayer life should be the strongest when we are pursuing something, not only praying, but also fasting, getting that close relationship with God so that he can give us the strength to continue to go through it. And so and, and, in, and in times, it may even seem like your prayers may not even be getting answered. It may seem as if God is not even there, but that's when we should be the most vulnerable to him because God is close to the brokenhearted. God is close to those who are crying out for him. And we see this in Job that even when he was at his lowest, it didn't seem like God was there, but God was protecting him, making sure that he didn't get destroyed the whole entire time. Because if God wasn't there, the enemy would destroy him because the, the enemy is here to kill, steal, kill, steal, and destroy us. And so if God is not there, then we are going to get attacked by the enemy and we can't fight the enemy by ourselves. We need God. And so God is always there protecting you, making sure that you get through whatever he puts in your way. And so make sure that you're praying and asking God for strength, asking God for endurance, because he will give you that Holy Spirit strength. He will. He, he gave us the comforter, the Holy Spirit for a reason. He doesn't want us walking this walk by ourselves, so we need to rely on Christ. Get in your word, build that relationship with him. When things get hard, when work starts to throw stuff at you, that is the time when you should be in your word the most. So number four is making sure that you're pacing yourself, not overworking to get rich in your own understanding. It even says that in the word, don't make sure that you don't overwork to get rich in your own understanding because we are in, this life is like a marathon. Think of this life is like a marathon. We don't sprint in a marathon because if you sprint in a marathon, guess what? You will, Yes, you will get farther than everybody else at first, but people will catch up and then they'll end up passing you because you get tired and you get weary and you can't endure if you continue to try to overwork and try to stress yourself out with you know so many things. And so that's why you can't put so many things on yourself at one time. You can't put this burden on your back that you can't carry because that is God's job. And so if you continue to, you know, try to get you know two different jobs try to stress and start to try to do all work at so many different times and you're not making time for god anymore and try to put all this load on your back and then you forget about god that's exactly when you'll burn out that's when you'll come running to god and feel say that you can't do it anymore because you didn't rely on god the first time and god may be sending a lot of trials and tribulations your way because you may be trying to do it on your own and so he has to test you. He has to give you trials and tribulations so you can come back to him repenting. And so you need to relax. You need to just take the burden off your back and have that peace with God. Because in this walk with Christ, essentially all we are supposed to do is work hard and put God first. And so as long as you are working hard and putting God first, you don't need to put this extra load on your back that you don't need to carry. You don't need, you know, two extra jobs because God will provide even when, you know, if it feels like nothing's gonna work out. And so if you feel like you cannot handle it, if you were, you feel like too much things are on the table, make sure you are letting that burden off of it. Give it on to God and have faith that he will pull you through even when it is hard. Because yes, we are supposed to work hard, but don't overwork to get rich. Because his life isn't a sprint, it's a marathon that we must endure till the end. And number five, and it kind of ties into last one, but it's balancing your time. And so balancing and scheduling the things that you do and make sure that whatever you do, it's in decency and order. Make sure whatever you do, make sure you're not scrambling around looking at trying to figure out so many different things at one time because once you start doing that, your mind starts getting overwhelmed. You start getting anxious, you start getting stressed and all of those emotions that you are feeling will cause you to fall in the race. You will not endure to the end because you have too much things going on. And so make sure that you are scheduling your time in the morning, schedule time, your your time around God. So put God first, make sure you're you have that time with God, and then that's when you can do whatever you need to do throughout the rest of the day. But you need to be in order because because once you put yourself in order, once you schedule your time, you you you, you, fin you schedule your time with your homework, you schedule your time with God, you schedule your time with your relationship, whatever it is. Once you schedule those things, that's when life becomes way more easier, and you actually will have much more free time than you think because a lot of our free time goals you know social media scrolling or time that we think that we have that we can't get back we end up using on social media gaming movies or whatnot and so if you have a whole bunch of tasks that you need to finish and yet you're still making time for like social media and different stuff like that then 
you may need to schedule your time because you may not have that time that you think when you're on social media scrolling watching movies and different stuff like that so make sure you're scheduling your time balance and when i say balance i don't mean you know you no know, having fun uh, 50% of the time and then working 50% of the time. No, there may be a season where you can have more fun than the other season. So maybe you're in a season of grinding and working. That's kind of the season I'm in. I'm always, you know, working. And so in that season, you should be 80% working and then maybe 20% fun. But then like if it's summer, there's a day uh, days where you should rest, you know, different stuff like that where you don't have to grind as much. That is when you can have more fun, maybe 50% uh, fun, 50% work. That's if you're still grinding. But if you, you know, you feel like you've been working for a while and then you made it to a level where you can have more fun, then it can be 80 percent fun and then 20 percent work. But you need to be able to balance that time. And so balance that time with God. You may need to spend more time with God if you're in a season where you're going through a bunch of trials and tribulations. And so whatever season you're in, make sure you know what season you're in. It talks about this in Ecclesiastes There's a season for everything. But make sure you know what season you're in so you can balance your time right. And then that's when you'll be able to endure through the whole marathon. So appreciate y'all for watching. I hope this video edified you. And I hope that you can endure through all the trials and tribulations that you're going through, whether it's school, work, you know, relationship, whatever it is. I just pray that you can get through it because at the end of the tunnel, at the top of the mountain, that's where your breakthrough will be. And that's where your blessing will be. You will feel accomplished once you go through everything that you're going through. So appreciate again for watching. Appreciate all the support. And until next time, as usual, y'all stay blessed.